Deacon Paul with us. Thank you so much, Deacon, to assist, to pray. And I would like to also welcome Sister John and Louis Dickey, who will be joining us today in this celebration. And most certainly, I would like to welcome all of the students who will receive Sacrament of Confirmation. During this Eucharist, I will pray in your intention. This Mass is celebrated for your intention, especially we ask Jesus for special blessing and we ask Holy Spirit for special blessing in your life. Along with parents and sponsors, welcome our families here. It's delighting for me to see you and thank you so much for presence during this Eucharist. So welcome again in Our Lady of Wayside Church. In the beginning of this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I've done and what I've failed to do through my fault through my, my fault, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord our God. God. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make us a perfect temple of His glory through, your, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and now we listen to the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm will be, Lord, send out your spirit, 
and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, O Lord, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they live. You renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever, and may the Lord be glad in his work. Pleasing to him be my theme, for I rejoice in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, that the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you, the Gospel of the Lord. After gospel, people in the church always sit down and please sit wonderfully. And now is the homily of the pastor. I remember uh, March 14 should be your confirmation. And you're waiting a long time for March 14. 13, we have rehearsal in the church to be come back to our church and to be witness to participate in this wonderful sacrament of confirmation. I'm delighted that you come, come here today to receive the sacrament of confirmation. This is the final moment, important moment in your steps of your initiation into Catholic Church. During this sacrament, I will trace the cross with the chrism oil on your forehead. This cross will be a sign that you are spiritually sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this spiritual mark will indicate that you belong totally to God. 
with this anointing you will also receive many graces that will help you throughout the rest of your lives to following God's calling you. What is most important for you to know at this moment is from this day forward you have great calling and mission to always bear witness to others to the passion of and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This means that you must reflect Christ and literally everything that you say, think and do. In your lives today, this could mean refusing to talk negatively about your classmates or teachers when you are with your friend. It might mean asking God to help you to remind respectfully toward your parents. Not rolling your eyes at them and talk back to them. It might mean being charitable and helpful at home and contributing to the community of your family, doing dishes, cleaning the yard, making dinner. Help, help, help your parents. I know it's not easy, but I believe parents helps you this with big smile and big hug. It also might mean speaking what is the true and right among your friends, refusing to participate in occult practice, defending the Catholic Church when people attack. To be honest person. Help the somebody who needs your help. Help the weak. But always remember that the apostles, when they open our hearts to gift of Holy Spirit, they become perfect witness how Jesus loved us. When you receive today this sacrament, you will have a lot of more friends. Multi multitude friends, angels and saints in heaven who are always be with you and always will help you to be wonderful young people. As you receive this beautiful, perfect sacrament, know that Jesus is calling you to a great mission and a wonderful purpose to be saints, to be saints, to be wonderful saint, doctor, nurse, lawyer, teachers, or truck driver. Those who follow Jesus Christ are some of the most persecuted and hated people in the world today. Yet, know that when I anointing you today, God is going to bestow on you the gift of the Holy Spirit, especially the unique gift and grace that each of one of you will need to follow Jesus calling your vocation in life, to the very end. Be courageous, dear youth. Respond generously and joyfully to this sacrament. Amen. And now, after my homily, I would like to ask uh, students to uh, stand for a moment. Thank you. And now we'll be renew our baptismal promises. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in the newness of life. 
And so, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a spe special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess. It is, it is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now I would like to ask our congregation rise and I give you special blessing. Dear beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for this, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them and confirm them with the abundant gift, and through his anointing conform them more fully in Christ the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought this, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, sent upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, Give them spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And please be seated. Demphana, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Joseph. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. This week, Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. He's with you. And, and be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. He's with you. Clara, Clara, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. He's with you. Catherine, Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Veronica, Veronica, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Is good. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Is good. Genevieve, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sebastian, Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sebastian. Sebastian. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine. Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. 
Sebastian. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Benjamin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. God bless you. Thank you. Grace. Grace, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be with me. God bless you. Thank you. My brothers and sisters, I would like to ask our students who received the Sacrament of Confirmation for step, step up for a moment. And I would like to present you this wonderful young people who now receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. And now, of course, I ask whole congregation, please rise, and we have the universal prayers. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God, the Almighty Father, and be of one mind in your prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceed from his Holy Spirit, are one. For all confirmandi, who have been confirmed by the gift of the Spirit, that they give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their parents, godparents, and sponsors, who will continue to lead them in faith, that by word and example, they may always encourage them to follow the way of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Blaise Supich, and Father Arthur Murat, that God, who gathers us together by the Holy Spirit, may bring us to an ever deeper commitment to our Catholic faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always be open to the Holy Spirit, and that the Holy Spirit may fill the hearts of people all over the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world and the safety of our servicemen and women, as through their sacrifice they bring about the freedom of all people everywhere, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more people will respond to the call of God to become priests, deacons, sisters, brothers, and lay ministers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families and friends who could not be with us today, that they experience the healing touch of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died of natural disasters and for all those in military service who gave their lives in service to our country, and especially for those who have died of COVID-19, that they may all be rewarded with the fullness of life with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and will the 
that through them and their successors the same spirit be handed and the rest of the faithful listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. as the breath of life. Blessed our Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become... Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive of your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that begin conform more perfectly in your Son, they may grow suddenly in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit and your adopted children, therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sitting to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like to fall, so that may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And please kneel. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, bless our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, your servants, whom you have been pleased to confirm today by bestowing the Holy Spirit and keep them in your grace. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep the hope, in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. Please rise. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we free those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as a way, the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. This group.
please kneeling. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accompanying with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity, faster her grow in the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. And it's my privilege. I would like to first say thank you. Deacon Paul to be with us. You always makes me happy because we, when we pray, we know that we pray for special blessing for these students. A few weeks ago, your daughter was confirmed. Yes, it's wonderful. And this is why he's a father and he's a deacon and he knows what is in our hearts. I would like to express my gratitude to the parents and sponsors of this youth and uh, everyone who takes the time to help prepare to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Especially I would like to say it, thank you Sister Joan and Louise for your time of heart. Thank you so much for Dan McMahon and for our Musician Peter and Harry, thank you so much for wonderful music and songs. Thank you so much. And I would like to uh, say thank you so much for these two gentlemen who works with this camera that we have the screaming. How many people was online? Hundred. Twenty-five. Oh, twenty. Okay, good. It's wonderful. And I would like to say hello to everybody who watching this Eucharist. Thank you, Martin and Sean, to be with us. And thank you so much for reopening team volunteers, the team who is in the back of the church. The team will be staying in the church, cleaning the church, prepare the church. They are very important that we are safety. Safety, safety, safety in our church and joyful heart. So, my brothers and sisters, Mostly, I would like to say it to the youth, their youth. You have taken an important step in your life of faith. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide all of you according to the path that God has chosen for your lives. May you always be a courageous witness to Christ and His love for every day in your life. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. And please rise for final blessing and please not forget after mass we go to the steps and we will be have time for special pictures. Bow down for the blessing. May God the Father Almighty bless you whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters reborn from water in the Holy Spirit. And may he keep your worth of his fatherly love. Amen. Amen. May his only begotten son, who promised the spirit of truth world, abide in his church, bless you and conform you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who kindness the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gather as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.